Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm making this video to talk about a dream that I had last night that I feel like has to mean something. Um, I wish I would have recorded it right after I had it, but I'll tell you what I do remember. Um, once it got to this particular part in the dream, I was staring out the window and I saw us, I went outside and I was around a group of people. Some of these people were my friends, even though I don't know them in this life, but I knew them in my dream. So I looked up and it was this spaceship and this spaceship was huge, like, and I would say, look, it's a spaceship. And you could see all the windows in it. Like, it was like a city. Like, it, it was big, humongous. And they were like, oh, they disguising it as a satellite. And so it was like I went up to see around it. And it was a satellite on the other side. But on the other side, it was a spaceship. And um, I was like, we got to get up there and see, you know, and see something I was saying about going up there. And I just felt like that was really interesting. I don't know what that meant. It was more details to the dream, but I can't remember much. I should have recorded it right after I had it. Next subject is Facebook Marketplace on Facebook. Um, I listed something, some items that I'm trying to sell on Facebook Marketplace. Had a lady who pretended to be interested, had a full conversation with her about the pricing. She was more than willing, seemingly, to pay how much it cost. She asked me for my email, for my PayPal. I went online and made a PayPal account just for her to be able to send the payment so I could send her the items. She asked me how much shipping was gonna be. I told her it's fine, I'll cover the shipping. And she went to say that she made the payment, right? Check my email. So I checked my email expecting to see some type of confirmation. The only confirmation I had was the one showing that I logged into the PayPal account. So I said, no, no confirmation yet. And I didn't even think it was a big deal. I figured it'll probably take a few minutes. So I'm just gonna sit back and wait and refresh my email and see if anything comes through. So she is like, check your spam and your junk. Sometime it goes there. So I checked my spam, nothing from PayPal. I checked every mailbox nothing there was nothing from paypal in there i have the paypal account now so the balance is zero and i and i showed her that i did the screen recording i showed her that there's no balance in there there's no message saying anything was deposited in my email or the paypal app she's like you're lying that's when i knew she was a perp and I'm like, this lady's nuts. Like, are you kidding me right now? Who does this? Perps, that's who. That would do something like that. It's just trifling. Anyways, I didn't even really feed into it much because I'm like, these people, you know, she just wants, she wants to get a reaction out of me. But I already had my guard up with her to begin with. Because the items I'm selling are pricey. And she was so willing to just pay. I asked her if the prices are too high, we can negotiate. But no, she says she's fine with paying the full price plus shipping. And then claimed she sent the payment. Then told me she was going to report me to Facebook. And I'm like, are you kidding me right now? I tried to FaceTime the lady. She wouldn't pick up. This lady only has messengers. She doesn't have... A Facebook profile so that was sketchy to me and how she just lost her temper mind you from the time she told me that she sent the payment 
to the time she called me a liar was nine minutes. Even just before I started making this video, about five minutes before, I rechecked my email just to be sure and my PayPal, and there's nothing there confirming any type of payment. So I guess the lady was a scammer. So you guys be careful. I definitely stay vigilant. I don't know if she thought because she was messaging me early in the morning that I was not, not going to be aware of what was going on. Like these people really, really think people are dumb. And it's so annoying because they're so stupid. Like the dumbest, the dumbest people ever. They do the dumbest things and then act so snobby and haughty about their stupidity. But anyways, guys, oh, I'm going to try to make more positive videos, even though I don't feel like these are negative because I feel like people need to know they're not alone with dealing with these baboons of people. Um, but I plan to release some prayer videos and um, deliverance prayer and deliverance videos, as well as biblical messages about the events going on, such as um, what's going on with the um, the stuff they're trying to put in everyone that's going to transmute people into zombies. I'm going to show you where you can find this in the Bible, and it's symbolic to how you can identify the people that took the mark of the beast and that um it's it's everything lines up with scripture so god bless you all i hope oh mind you when you get on here making videos and you have people that come in like they're trying to help you through their messages but they add curses words spells insults if you don't agree with them they instantly insult you and start bashing you they try to act like they're helping you but they're trying to really invoke fear and spells so block those people don't even reply or respond to them because they're just a bunch of devils okay that's what they are they're satan worshipers they're god is making everything black and white for us he's separating the wheat from the tear and these people are devil worshipers period they they enjoy doing this to the children of god cut those people off like a dead branch because they're not going to produce anything good in you they trying to take away your fruit they're trying to steal your light your joy your peace your anointing don't let them rebuke them in the name of jesus you know cast the devil out don't be friends with the devil Remove, remove those people from your heart and mind. Let God cleanse you and keep you. Anyhow, um, you all enjoy your day. And I look forward to the comments and all that wonderful stuff. God bless.